Tom is in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Hi, Tom. How are you? As a retired postal employee, I would highly recommend for everybody to go vote in person. Um, the story that we heard over the weekend or late last week about three trays of mail yeah. being found in a ditch. Yeah. I, I mean, that, that's happened here at least twice that I know of. Really? So it is, it, yes, it is very easy for um, mail to disappear, especially right now with what's going on with how desperate the left is. I would not trust it. I would only suggest for anybody to use mail in voting if as a last last cause effort. As a last if you resort. Have any other way to vote. Sure. It's a last resort, exactly. I mean I, I, I highly recommend it because even uh, at the general mail facilities where all your mail goes out from and comes yeah. into and everything else. I mean, numerous hands can, can touch ballots and so I don't trust it one bit and you know, and I worked for the post office for 21 years. Yeah. So, so Tom, do you I, think I in these in these instances, is it mail carriers that are what, like making a quick buck or do they just hold a grudge? Are they super political? What's you know, where's where are the ballots being, you know, broken down or where how do they end up in the ditch or they end up in the dumpster? I think a lot of it, I think a little bit might be political, but I think right. a lot of it, people are getting overwhelmed they can't handle the area that they're delivering in. They're getting, um, like I said, overwhelmed with the amount of mail delivery. Sure. And, uh, you know, and for some people, it's a shortcut. It's like, well, you know, who's going to know? Right. You know, and, and especially, and, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because even though people at the post office make decent money, very right. good money, it's, it would be very easy to tempt people, you know, with a bribe for, and I mean, it, it's not hard for someone to um, end up walking away with uh, tubs of ballots. It would yeah. be very easy. So if I, the price I, is I right. No, you're right. I mean, look, there's, I'd do anything for money myself. Um, all right, Tom. So as a, <laughs> as a retired post office employee of 21 years, you would, you're telling people, Go and vote in person. Don't mail in your ballot if you 100% want to make sure that it counts. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Tom, thanks so much. We really appreciate it. I mean, look, when the employees of the post office are telling you, hey, you know what? If you really want to make sure that your ballot gets there, get off your butt and go vote in person. Make sure you're the one, the only one that handles your ballot from the time you fill in your circles till you slide it in the machine. Make sure that you have total control over it because once you put it in that mailbox, all bets are off. It may get where it's going. It may end up in a ditch.